So how did you know they were quarreling? I overheard my sister and her friends discussing how she got a police to arrest you and your sister. How come you didn't tell me? Because I didn't want to bother you. So, do you think it's going to affect our relationship? That's the exact reason I called you here. Do you love me? Hey, why are you asking me that? Of course you know I love you. Hmm? I love you from the depth of my heart. Hmm. So in that case, you don't have to be afraid because our sisters cannot separate us. Is that a promise? Yes, it is. Listen, I love you with the whole of my heart. Listen, nothing can come in between us. this place. Okay. So, how may I help you? Alright, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, I promise. Okay, what about him? Amen. Interesting. Please, what is the name of this girl? Thank you so much. Thank you for this wonderful information. I am grateful. Now, nah, don't worry. You don't have anything to be afraid of. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. Thank God it's Friday. My name is Barrister Kanti Leona Ibezia. Are you in any way related to Leo Ibezi, Managing Director of Leo Merchandise? He is my younger brother. 
Oh, wow. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Well, I called you here to ask you some questions. And please, I would appreciate it if you tell me the truth. Nothing but the truth. Okay. I want to know what your relationship with my brother, what was it like? He's my boss. And also my boyfriend. Hmm. For how long have you guys been dating? A year now. Where do you stay? Sorry, I hope there is no problem. Mm. Nah, not at all. I just want to know. Okay. I stay at someone's street behind where my bank. Okay. My brother took you out for shopping recently. Do you know how much he spent on that day? You are not saying anything. I wouldn't say for sure. Okay. I'll tell you. My brother spent roughly five million naira on you for shopping. Through a force. Again, I wouldn't say you're lying because he spent a lot of money that day. Sorry to ask. Why all those interrogations? Do you love my brother? Sure, I do. Do you have a brother? Yes. If you hear that your brother spent five million dollars on a woman for shopping, how would you feel? Would you be happy? I will not. Heaven knows I didn't allow him to spend such amount of money on me. You know how your brother is. I did everything I could to make him stop, but he wouldn't listen to me. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. If I need you again, I'll call you. something. Josie, look, there's this very important file I'm looking for, okay? Everyone listen, please. I need you to help me find this file. It's very important. Okay. What file is that? Um, it's written Meldeck Global Enterprise. Yes. Are you sure you haven't submitted it to the MD? 
And they just called and asked that I should submit it now. And I've searched everywhere in my office. I can't find it. Oh, please, guys, just help me. Check, check your desk everywhere, please. Oh, Becky, let's check this out. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Let it not be that Monique has lost that fight. That Meldek Global Enterprise is a multi million naira deal. You see why it's not proper to date someone who is working for you? Where is that talk coming from? Is it not her carelessness? It's because the MD is climbing her, that's why she not do her job anymore. Hey! Please learn to mind your business. Hey. Learn to mind your business. Monique, why can't you go to the other office and look for the file? Go there and do what? I didn't go to her office and she didn't come to mine. Okay, if I walk into her office, what will I tell her? What are you even saying? When something is lost, it will be searched for everywhere. Girls, look. Bella did not take that file, okay? That file is not in her office. I'm certain about it. What if she came into your office and took it just to punish you? Exactly what I have in mind. What if? No, 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 no. She can't. Does she go to that extent just because we have issues? Are you seriously asking us that question? No, like seriously? Like, yes, because that... Oh, yes, she can. Coming. Hi, Bella. Hello. Um, actually, I'm looking for a file. What file is that? Um, Melted Global Enterprise. I don't know if you might have seen I it. I don't see it. It's not here. I see, I'm busy. Do you see the fire? It's not here, please. Oh my goodness. Brother, could you please keep your eyes? Please, please. You're distracting me right now. Just keep your documents. eyes down in case you see it, okay? Come on, my God. It's a terrible. Rubbish. So you can stoop so low to come to my office and ask for a file. Stupid ass. If I see the file, what I will mean, tear it. Me, I will tear her. Did you see it? No, we didn't. Monique, did you drop the file here? Can you just shut your mouth and help me out? Stop asking silly questions. Oh, please. I am not the one that misplaced the file, so mind your utterances. What's Good. It? Help me, please. Gina, it's okay. You talk too much. Ah. Who called my name? Apropos master. Don't ever try it again. Listen, this should be your last time of mentioning my name unnecessarily. Are you mad? Do you think I'm Becky? No, try him again. No, if I face you, your spirit will leave your body. Hey! Rubbish. Gina, it's okay. Hey! Monique, the fire is not here. Where could it be? Come in. I've been calling the supervisor. She's not picking. Sir, she's looking for the file. Which file? Raf, are you sure she did not take it home? What kind of question is that? What else do you want me to say? Eh? Have you seen the file now? No, sir. No, sir. We have searched the room.
Who is there? It's Chelsea. Has she seen the file? No, sir. Sir, there's something I want to discuss with you. What could that be? Sir, I find it difficult to believe that there's no functioning CCTV in this company. I mean, as big as this company. If the engineers cannot face the old one, then we get a new one. Because I am so sure that somebody deliberately stole that fight just to punish Monique. If there is a functioning CCTV in this company, we would have known who the person is by now. You think someone from this company must have taken it to punish Monique? Yes, I'm very sure of that. So what does that person stand to gain? I don't know. Maybe someone she has offended. A payback, kind of. You can go. Thank you, sir. Could it be that someone amongst us took the fire? Took the fire to do it. What can any of us here do with the fire? What would you have me say? If not, how can such a file go missing just like that? I am suspecting the lucky. You don't need to hide it, my brother. I have said it before now. How sure are you guys? You're asking me how sure are we? Now, let me ask you. Did you take the file? Hell no. What are you saying? We all know that Bella has been working against Monique in this office. So they said that you have to confront her face to face. Now, tell me, who else can hide the file just to punish Monique if not Bella? The handwriting is clearly written on the wall. It's not even agreeable. What is going on? We are saying that Bella has some questions to answer. Exactly. I'm just coming from MD's office. And I told him that somebody from this office took that fight just to punish Monique. You did? Of course I did. How can you explain the missing fight then? Listen, if that fire was misplaced, we would have seen it by now. Could it be that Monique took it home? She said she did not take it home. Has she gone home to check? Yes. She has gone home to check even though she said she didn't take it home. Now, where is the fire? I did not take it home. Ever since I started working in this company, I haven't taken any of the company's property home. And this is because I hardly have no work left over. Do you have any issue with, with any worker in, in this company? Maybe the secretary? The secretary, yes. I had issues with her a long time ago. That was a long time ago. That was in the past. What was it all about? Why would you sign those bills without my consent? Why would I sign these bills without your consent? That's supposed to be a question. If there is a question, you dummy. Don't forget I'm the secretary of this company. And I am the supervisor and the accountant of this company. Every bill should go through my desk before you sign them. I guess you have a short memory, babe. Oh, really? You are the supervisor of this company and not the accountant. And besides, babe, this document was signed when you're not around. Well. Every bill should go through due process. Meaning, you heard me right. Get out of my office. What? I said, leave. I said, leave. What is this nonsense? Who signed them? 
Is that why you barged into my office without knocking? You will you... answer my question late. Who signed them? I did. And why would you do that? Then what are you trying to prove to the management? Prove? Monique. I am trying to prove to the manager that I, Bella, I am doing my work. I'm working. Oh, really? Yes. Is that what you think? Because it doesn't look that way to me. Bella, you are overstepping your back. Oh, spare me that, please. Excuse me. That I am trying so hard. To be nice with you doesn't give you the audacity to play around and do whatever you like. Bella, you are overstepping your bound. Monique, it's like you've forgotten that I, Bella, I am employed in this office to work. And that is exactly what I am doing, okay? Do you understand? I will not warn you again. Stay in your lane. I am sticking to mine. I will mind my lane. In fact, I will mind your lane if you are capable of minding your own lane. You don't want to walk. I don't want someone to correct you. Please, don't, don't spoil my door, okay? Rubbish. Can you imagine? I don't even know what I'm even reading again. Stupid ass. And ever since then, she's been giving me all sorts of dating attitudes and working against me. And why didn't you officially report to the management? Because I didn't see it as a big deal. I already know what her problem is and moreover, I know I can handle her. Well, now reverses the case. Boss, I can't hold this girl responsible, all right? I didn't see her take the file and no one else did. You can go. Okay, um, but I suggest we should just change the CCTV. Or better still repair them. Let's get them to work again. I'll work on it and you can leave. Okay, sir. Leonard, my main man. <laughs> ben, what's going on? Leo, who was that girl I saw you with when I came? Leo. Oh, my accountant and supervisor. Really? And you guys were so intimate like that? <laughs> Leo. She's my girl. Mm. You see, Leo, it's not advisable dating someone that is working for you. Why? Because most things will be taken for granted. I mean, it's like mixing business with pleasure. Yeah, I, I, I know that. But not for someone like Monique. Monique is exceptional. She's hardworking, reliable. I mean, that's one of the reasons I went for her. Sounds good, Leo. But you see, the truth is... You cannot get all the qualities you needed in a woman. It's the truth. Well, at, at least there should be something special about that person. But I still insist that dating your worker will cost you a lot of things. Directly or indirectly, believe me. Well, that's your view. <laughs> I don't have to change your view, you know. Anyway, Leo, what's up? 
Oh, come on. Okay, I've just, just been on this contract and trying to finalize it. Wow. Always a workaholic. <laughs> I have to give up to my father's legs. Of course, man. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Well, I do not think so. Is everything okay? I just told you I'm fine. Why are you forcing words out of my mouth? Why don't I believe you? Anyways, Candy? Mom, did Leo tell you anything? No. But mom, you know I noticed he's not doing okay. Though I asked him, but he didn't talk to me, he just walked out on me. You said your brother walked out on you? Yes, he did. That was exactly what he did to me. See, Mom, just let him be, okay? I feel if it's something we should know, we would know, all right? What if that's something? It's something that has to do with the company. Well, mom, like I said earlier, let him be. If it's something we should know, we would know, right? <sighs> mom. Sister, you're back already. Sister, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, but you don't look okay. What's wrong? I am fine. Don't tell me you're fine. Because it's written all over you. What happened? I 
I had an issue at the office. What happened? A file is missing in my office. And Janet, this file is practically under my care. The company is going to lose a lot of money if we don't find this file. I, I don't know what to do. Wait, wait. If I'm trying to understand you, you mean someone took a file in your office? Exactly. Exactly. Are you suspecting anyone? Yes. The secretary. You know, this girl, she told me to my face that she's going to deal with me in that company. Then why are you worried since you know who took the file? Janet, I am worried because I do not have any evidence. What do I have to show for it? Your company, if I may ask, your company don't have CCTV. It got spoiled, right? It's, they're not functioning. As big as your company is, they can't service their CCTV. Just give me something to drink. A G, okay? Okay, if you say so. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be hiding your face in shame. Just a child. One child and you cannot pay her school fees. Regina! Regina, you know my condition as for this moment. You know my condition. What nonsense condition are you telling me of? Huh? Are you crippled? Are you blind? Are you deaf? No, are your hands affected by leprosy? Tell me the condition I want to know. I was doing well when I married you. I was doing very, very well when I married you. Oh, you know please. that. please! I was not like this when you married me, Regina. Please, let me hear. I was doing very well when I married you. Then what happened? What happened, Jetsu? Stop giving me flimsy excuses and man up. Man up! Act like the head of the family that you are. Okay, tell me. What is the difference between where you married me and now? In, uh, Just a tiny margin. Tell yourself the truth. You knew very well. You are aware that I was doing well before I married you. I was doing well. You wouldn't have married me if I was like this. Then what happened? Why did you stop doing well? Oh, God, beg. Go and pay your daughter's school fees. Stop calling our daughter your daughter, your daughter, your daughter. She is your daughter too. And for that, I should kill myself. No, I should bury myself and mourn myself. Huh? What have you been doing in this house as the man of the house? For over a year, I have been taking care of the needs in this house. I take care of you. I take care of our daughter. I pay her school fees. I pay the house rent. I do everything. I feed you. And now you still expect me to continue. It's a lie. Oga, man up. Take over your responsibilities, Biko. Regina. Regina. You know very well that I have no penny on me right now and you are using that against me. I have no penny on me too. So let I remain at home. Never. My daughter, our daughter will not stay at home. Then do something. Do away with your pride and do something. Go to her school and pay her school fees. After all, you asked me to quit my job. Did you? Of did course you? I did. You did? So where have you been going to every morning? And how is that your business? What kind of silly question is that? Uh, no, tell me, how is it your business? How does it concern you with where I go to every morning? When have you become my watchkeeper? I, 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 I can't bother this. Regina, you tell me. Am I the one marrying you or the one marrying me? Man up, Oga. Be the man! Show me the reason you brought me into your house as your wife! Okay? If you don't know what to do to make money, let me give you an idea. Go and steal. <gasps> yes, I said it. The people that use useless men like you for rituals don't have two heads. 
You should choose one. You either steal or you use someone for ritual. Not see a nagging like a mad woman every day. You eat my food, you nag. You waste my senses. You waste my time. Everything. What are you going to do now? What else am I supposed to do? Of course I have to be hiding home. Monique, I suggest you speak to the MD first to confirm the letter. Confirm what letter? Chelsea, his signature is here. What is there to confirm? Are you doubting he wasn't the one that signed the suspension letter? No, I'm not doubting. I just want her to hear from him before she leaves the company. Monique, what do you think? Don't even go there. I'm not going in there to see him. Monique, I know you're not happy. Trust me when I say that I'm hurting too. But you just have to speak to him to be sure. You know what? Becky, let's go confront that bitch. Who? Bella, of course. Why? Are you seriously asking me why? Are you happy that you have been suspended for two months? Are you? Chelsea, she is not the one that suspended me. Ha! <sighs> for goodness sake, she did indirectly. Yes! The handwriting is written on the wall, can't you see? I can see it. Look, even if Bella is the one behind all this, at this point, there is nothing I can do. I didn't see her take the files. I didn't, I didn't, see, I didn't see her do any of these things. I just have to leave everything to God. That's all I can do at this moment, leave everything to God. Thank you, God. Hello. Who was that? That was Bella. What did she say? That I have five minutes to leave the premises. <sighs> that bitch. <sighs> I can't understand any words. Listen, 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 li listen, listen. Monique, this is a time for you to be strong. Listen, if something is not done, you will be kicked out of this company permanently. This is a time for you to be smart and prayerful because your enemies are at work. So put yourself together. Monique, she's not going to do anything, okay? Her plans is not going to work. <laughs> Monique, just come down. Okay? Just, just, just relax, okay? Relax. You think of something. It's okay. You stop crying. This is what she wants to achieve. Yes. I'm innocent. Hey, madam, welcome home. So why you greet madam? She know why answer me. Are you sure everything is okay? Because the look on her face is not encouraging. 
I'm not going to say 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 i you are not going to fold your arms and watch that rat destroy the future you built for yourself. You have to do something. Do something like what? Even the Bible says, fight against those who fight against you. If I fight Bella, I am going to kill her. Then kill her. Kill her. Even the same Bible says, suffer not the weak to live. They will say, Obiari bumbu onwea burajo. Sis, do something. How did you learn all of this? I have overheard Papa say it countless times. Sis, anybody that wants to kill me, I will kill the person first. I mean, self-defense is not a sin. Eh? Hey. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bella cannot make me to stain my hands with blood. Never. You know what? Don't worry about Bella. I have my plans for her. No, sis. This is where you rob yourself. There's a saying, an ugly situation needs an ugly action. You don't wait that long to execute your plan. Do it now. I see the hurt. Okay. Please get me a glass of dry Jane upstairs. Now. Honestly, my sister is chicken happy. Okay. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. Mm. It's nice. Thanks. So, um, you were trying to say something on the phone. So, you want us to talk about something? Yes, I was trying to tell you that. Um, that was not our agreement. Our agreement was for you to suck that girl. Baby, are, are we still on this? I told you, I, I can't suck her. Can you do us a favor and stay off my business? And I remember telling you that you must suck her. I remember telling you that. I remember telling you that I would not suck her. So what's the big deal? I, I don't understand. We don't have to be going back and forth in this. Like, uh, what is going on here? We listen. I, I can't. Can't you see what she's doing to our relationship? If you want this relationship to be peaceful, to get to another level, for us to enjoy ourselves, you have to let her go. You have to sack her. No, you are the one actually making this whole thing be a big problem. It's not supposed to be a problem. Okay. You keep saying, sack her, do this, do that. I'm saying I will not. This is not high time you stopped. Because it's affecting, like you said, it's affecting the peace in this relationship. My point exactly. She's like, she, she, she's just like the, in, in the middle of our because relationship. Because you're making her be the topic. She's nobody to cause us problems. Okay, to avoid that, just let her go. Sack her so everybody will be happy. Everything will be fine. Baby, I love you so much. You're just trying to mix business with pleasure. And that's not right. That's the reason I refuse to work in your company. I, I love you. I, I, I want you to do better. I, I'm, I'm protecting you. I, I'm just Baby, being protective. If, if you are protecting me, then let me do what is best for the growth of the company. This is not meant to be a problem. You're just making it look like a problem. It's not. Take your mind off that. I'm not mixing any business with any pleasure. I love you. Okay? You too. I love you and I can't do anything that would jeopardize our relationship. I know that's why you're scared. I can't. It's 
week. Monique, you're not looking good at all. It's written all over you. Don't let this eat you up. You guys are welcome. Thank you. How are you coping? What can I do? I'm just in this house. Thank you. Monique, please don't do that. Eh? Stop thinking. You guys have no idea what that girl wanted to do to me. She wanted the management to terminate my services so she can take my position and of course become Leonard's mistress. Yes. That is what she wanted to do to you. Well, thank God that her plan did not work. Hmm. Chelsea, this Bella girl is so evil. So think it was Monica that brought her to the company. And she's doing this. She has totally forgotten how everything started. It's a lie. I'm telling you. Are you serious? I brought that girl to that company. I made her the secretary she is today. Monique, please. You're my last hope. Honestly, baby, if you disappoint me, I'll be totally gone. Please. I will try my best, okay? Babe, I know you will try your best. I need you to do more for me. See, the MD is your friend, right? I believe he will listen to you. Babe, I'm desperate. Please. Relax. It's a promise. I will try my best. All right? See, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, if you do this one for me, eh, babe, I'll forever remain indebted to you. I promise. Okay, I got that. Okay. So now, can you tell me what I will offer you because you are in my heart? At least I'm relaxed now. I'll, I'll go with water. Water? Yes. Fine. Janet! Janet! Wait, I am, I am lost. You mean she actually came to your house to beg you that way? She sat right there. Right on this couch, begging me. She was seated right on this couch, begging me, telling me how I was the last hope she had. You girls know me. I took her directly to Leonard and she got automatic employment. What? This girl did not go for interview. She did not come for interview and the next minute she resumed work. Wait a minute. And she had the guts to do that to you? That is life, my sister. Life is not balanced and it can never be balanced. If what you said is exactly what actually happened, that means that girl is not a good person. Mm -mm. Bella is not a good person. She's evil. Did you say evil? Eh? Bella is a demon. But I blame Monique here. Yes, because her good heart is too much. She will meet someone today and the next day, the person is already her friend. Becky, you don't really have to blame her. Some people are like that. Take me for example. I easily make friends, but at the end of the day, they turn against me. Becky, I can't change it. Okay, well, there are some things you can change about you. If it's something you learned from somewhere or some places, yes, you can change it. But if it's something that you're born with, no matter how you try to change it, you will still see yourself doing that same thing. Monique is right. You don't have to change from being a good person because you never can tell where your blessings are coming from. Mm -mm. I disagree with you too. Yes, you can change a whole lot of things when it's obvious the person is trying to hurt you intentionally. 
the fact still remains that I, Monique, will not and will never allow Bella to ruin my life. Bella, Monique, you need to sit up and do not allow that girl ruin your future or push you into pushing her out of the way. Well, Monique, the helping hand you need is at the end of your sleeve. is to let you know that Becky is my girl. Stay away from her to avoid her I know. I won't warn you again. What was the meaning of that? The meaning of what? Hmm? Don't give me that look because you know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I don't. You don't? Oh, fuck, I don't. What is this? This? I don't know. You don't know? Honestly, don't be fuck, I don't know. Jude! Can you stop talking before I lose it? Dude, what do you want from me? <laughs> what do I want from you? How? Dude, I need you to tell me what you want from me. And I need you to start talking now. Okay. I don't want anything from you. I don't understand the meaning of you asking me what do I want from you. Is that the reason you called me out here? If you don't want anything from me, so what is your intention writing this to Maxwell? What makes you believe I wrote this to Maxwell? To do a coward. Yes. And I want you to stay away from my life. Stay away from my affair. And stay away from anything that concerns me in this office or outside the office. I don't know. Yes, 
These are the documents. I hope everything is intact. Yeah, yes. Okay, please tell Jude to hurry up, okay? Okay. Jesus. Okay, I'll call you back. What? Hello. Commissioner, there's a problem. My accountant just called me now that it got robbed. Yes, on, on their way to, to deposit the company's money in the bank. Of 
course they have the escort. She said the, the escort got shot. Oh, please, please. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, um, sir, is there anything the matter? Monique just called that, that they got robbed. just attacked Monique and others. Oh, Jesus! Tell me you. Ah. Did they succeed? Monique just called the MD to give him the information. This is unbelievable. Yes, Those armed robbers will not succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen! Oh dear, we are no casualties. I guess you should just call the MD or probably wait for Monique to come back and ask her this stupid question. Do you understand? Excuse me. Excuse me? Do I look like I am drunk to have asked a mannerless bigot like you a question? Do I? No, I am not. But one thing is for sure. Whoever it is that is manipulating evil in this company to implicate one another will not live to see the light of the next day. Amen! Gina, what is this supposed to mean? Was I referring to you? You dare not. And if I do, what will happen? <laughs> what will happen? No, tell me. You know what? When the MD returns, Gina, you will explain better. Oh, please, tell me where you have become evil. Excuse me, please. What's this? Don't touch me, Don't just touch me. What's this? Don't try it. Feeling like a demigod. How dare you? Who do you think you are? Can you imagine? Do I look like a coward she talks to anyhow? She dare not. Rubbish. You feeling like a demigod. Feeling too important. Who do you think you are? Oh my God, it's okay. It's okay. Are we not supposed to be concerned about what happened? Instead of sitting here biting and hitting each other here. What's that? C can you imagine? Raphael, you are right. My name is Oweyendi Boku. That's my secretary, Zaye Urun Katani Siguyoku. Yes. Bella's attitude in this company is becoming so unbearable. So it's time we all put her to place. Honestly, I have had it up to here. I have had that her rubbish character up to here and I will not take it again. Can you imagine? I will give her that medicine that she needs. I will so treat her for course. Yeah, rubbish. Jesus Christ. Oh no, 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 this is not nice. What? What happened? The MT just called that armed robbers killed everybody except for Monique. Jesus Christ. This is not nice. This is hey. not nice. This is a very bad news. Hey! Oh God, why, 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 why? No, 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 this is not nice, this is not nice. Huh. Hey! 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 This is a very bad news. What happened to Monique? Hey! Jude, speak! Hey! Jude, can you please stop being so dramatic and talk hmm. to us? What is it? What is wrong? 240 million naira is gone. Hey! What? Hey! What about Monique? Hmm. Yes, what about Monique? Hey! They were all shot dead. Hey! Ah! Hey! hey!
Hello, Commissioner. Yes. Yes. See that girl? Let her tell you the truth. Anyhow, you're going to get the truth from her? Whether you're going to torture her? Whether you're going to quiz her? Whether you're going to kill her? Let her tell you the truth. Do not show her any form of mercy. Yes. Just get the truth from her. Let her tell you how everything happened. Yes. Okay. See you then. What is wrong with you? Leonard, what is wrong with you? Are you become this daft? Or is it because she's a woman? Going on. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my head. that something bad has happened to my sister. What is this? Let's keep on trying. Wow. Come on. I can just enter. Come down from Moto. You will kind of like person where you bet and jack out. Small time, small madam. Come full to speed. Enter. Like person where out of the pursue. Ha. I don't want to know. Yeah, they're here. You die here. You don't want to like me to commit. You should not mix pleasure with your business or add sentiments into your business. It's not nice. That's the truth. You have to suck that girl first, even if you want to marry her like you claim. I won't suck her until you give me a genuine reason why you want me to suck her. 
And what stupid reason do you want me to say to you right now? What reason? Because you have nothing to say. Listen, listen, Leonard. That company is not owned by you and me. And you know it. Very simple, You can't tell me. Are you walking out on me? I am an adult. An adult? Yes, be like a child. Listen, do what mom asks you to do, or you have us to contend with. Can the need remind you that I've managed this company for roughly two years before you came back from abroad? And please, can you gladly show me what you have managed out of the company? Yes. What can you boast of? Nothing. Nothing. I won't sit here and listen to all these insults. Mom, I fought against this. I fought against this like I knew. 240 million naira, it's not 240 naira, mom. I fought against this. Now see. Hey. Hey. And that has killed me. Oh, my book, no more. Hey. Mom, where is he? I don't know where he is. I don't know. I can't tell. Hey! Mom is not upstairs. I can't find him upstairs. Honestly, I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. I don't know. Excuse me, Mom. Leonard, why? Why would you do this to me? Why? Exactly. That's that's the way I'm seeing it. You know, I've, I'm, I'm I'm still trying to check how how possible that can be. Yeah. Everybody, everybody was shot dead, except her. End that call. I want to talk to you. Let me call you back, right? What happened? My accountant got attacked this morning on their way to the bank. So the robbers shot the bank manager, the police escort. I mean, everybody, including the driver. Except your accountant, right? Yes. How much is involved? 240 million. If that money is not provided, that will be your own share of that company. What do you mean by that? You heard me. Or do you want me to repeat myself? Oh, please, just, just go. I'm not... 
I'm not ready for this, your drama. Just, just <laughs> let me be, please. Yes, my drama indeed. But this one will make you understand that my drama is a legal drama. And that I did not school abroad for nothing. Just watch it. And do not say I did not warn you. Mom, God knows us. I will not take this matter lightly. If that money is not brought back to this house, I won't take it lightly. That girl has to bring back that money to this house. Else, I will make sure she rusts in jail for the rest of her life with the last drop of blood in me. And that's a promise, mommy. No, wait. Money that was stolen by arm robbers is what you want returned to you. How? Mommy, Leonard and his mistress know everything about that money. And sincerely, they will have me to contend with. I don't understand. What do you mean by Leonard and his mistress? What are you talking about? That accountant or whatever she calls herself is Leonard's mistress. And I told him several times, in fact countless times, to sack that girl. He had refused blanchantly. And now see where it has gotten us to? Just imagine. No, wait. The accountant. Is Leonard's mistress? I don't understand. She is that same girl that he spent 4.5 million naira on for shopping. What? Yes, mommy. And you never made any attempt to tell me about this. Mommy, the ones you know, what did you do? What do you mean by that? The ones, what, but the ones I know, what do I do about it? No, I don't understand. I mean, listen. You asked Luna to scrap that thank God it's Friday nonsense. Did he answer you? No. And what did you do afterwards? Nothing. So what were you saying that I should have let you know I don't know what you wanted to do? You can't call Leonard for me. Me. Never. I won't try it. Mom, I will wait. He's at the back here. You can just go meet him yourself. Has got into that, right? Hello? Leonard, where are you? I want you inside now. Mom, you called me. What is going on? That girl that was involved in that crime. What is she to you? Who is she to you? She's my accountant. Your accountant? So what are you doing with her? She's my good friend. She's your good friend or your girlfriend? Mom, I just answered you. She's my good friend. Lena, is it true? That you have something to do with that girl, emotionally. Mom, you, you told me to present a girl I want to marry, right? And so? Okay, so what we are doing is, we're having courtship. I want to know if she's the right person for me to settle down with. Are you alright? No, 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 Leonard, are you alright? You are doing something, having something to a girl that is working for you. Do you know the implication of dating a woman that is working for you? What implication, sorry? This one that just happened is number one of the implication. How are you sure she didn't plan this stealing? 
to steal the company's money when she knows you cannot do anything about it. An oppression took place and she was spared. How? Only her, just her, a male woman, a small girl, was spared. How? Mom, you can't even insinuate that. That girl can never plan such a thing. You're mad. Mom, she can't do that. I'm sorry, she can't. You are mad in the head. Okay, now we're done. What is wrong with you? Leonard! Mom, Leonard! Can you see? That's it. You see? <laughs> okay. No, no, mommy, this one will not slide. Never. Not on my... Eh? It can never slide. And you know what? This is called battle line. It's drawn. What do I do? Yeah. So all this while I've been sitting on a keg of gunpowder. Definitely. Confused. Come and give me the key. Instead of you to lock the gate, you're there shaking. Give me. Should have killed you instead. Lock that small gate. What? Mom. What? You see one thing is, I'm so tired of this stupid game you're not displaying. And mom, you know what? Leonard and I will meet in court. It's not even there. You don't try it. Who told you that? I have warned you before and I'm warning you again. That will never happen. Ensure that that small gate is not open in any way. It's yours. So that, how did it happen? She was attacked on her way to, to the bank. Oh, that's serious. Was she hurt? No, but... Every, every other person was shot dead, including the policemen. Jesus Christ. That is serious. So where is she now? I spoke to her a few minutes ago and she said they are taking her to the station that they need some information from her, according to them. Wow. This is really bad. How come? Honestly, I'm still in shock. What if my sister was killed? God forbid. Don't say a thing like that. Huh? It is not a portion. Alright? God, thank you for always protecting my family. And you will always continue to protect us till eternity. Amen. Amen. Please don't stress yourself out. 
All right, she'll be fine. She'll be back. Have you had anything to eat? No, I couldn't eat. Why? Just don't have the appetite. <clears throat> This one you are looking like this. Are you not going for your tango this Friday night party? No. No. Why? Something terrible happened. Our accountant was robbed on her way to the bank earlier today. And on the process, the bank manager, two policemen, including two other people that were with her, we are killed. Jesus Christ. What kind of bloody robbery is that? It's a very bad one. What about the accountant? That is what bothers me the most. She was untouched. And now she is in the police custody. They said she's the prime suspect. Prime suspect? How much is involved? I mean, how much are we talking about here? 240 million naira. 240 million naira? This is bad. This is bad. Very, 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 very bad. But Monique didn't do it. She is innocent. How sure are you? How sure? I am very sure. 100% sure. I can swear on her behalf. You trust her that much? Yes, I do. Monik that I know is soft-hearted. She doesn't take what is not hers. She cannot even hurt a fly. Not to talk of taking someone's life because of money. Even if she is innocent, as you said, she will need a strong proof, a very strong one to back it. That is the problem here. The police are not believing her story. They should just let her go. No, no, no. They can't let her go. The police must do a thorough investigation. That's how it works. Today's thank God is Friday is cancelled. Hmm. Next Friday, another thing that will obstruct the party will still happen. <sighs> share up, okay? Just share up. Just share up. Come. Come, come. Come this way. It's okay. It's okay. Sure. All right. Can you now tell me something? I am innocent. Blaze is your friend. Confide in me. Tell me the truth and I will personally set you free. To me, I'm a woman like you, and I promise I will have mercy on you. How else do you want me to say this to you? 
I am telling you the truth. I am innocent. I am. I can see you are hardened criminal. I'm innocent. Yeah. I'm innocent. I brought you food. No, forget about this food. This is what you will do for me. Go to my lawyer's office. Tell him everything that has happened. Okay, I, I tried to call him, but the police officers, they refused. They practically stripped me off my rights. What kind of intimidation is that? How can you detain my sister and strip her off her rights? Where is that done? Who does that? I my mean, friend, mind the way you speak to a police Oh, officer. please, shut up. Which po po police officer? Jeanette. How dare Jeanette. you? Just, eh? Jeanette. You stripped her off her rights and you're telling me to mind the way I speak to a, a police officer. Jeanette, 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 stop. Oh, stop sister, it. please, leave me alone. Tell me where it is written in Nigerian constitution that a suspect has no right to pick a call in police custody. How dare you? Eh? How can you people be so cruel? What more do you want to do to her? Eh? Look at my sister. And you're here telling me to, 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 to mind why okay. I speak to a police officer. Janet. How dare you? Don't speak to me in that, in that manner. Sister, please. This leave is, me. This eh? is not important now. Sister, I know my rights. I know my rights as a law student. You're talking to the wrong person, all right? Look at me, look at my condition. You need to do as I say. Sister, no. Look at what these people are turning you to. No. Go to my lawyer's office. Tell him everything that has happened, okay? I need to speak to my lawyer. And only you can do this for me. No one else can go to his office. Give me her phone. Can I have her phone? No, you can't. I said, can I have her phone? No, you can't. I need the phone right now. Janet, listen to me. Listen to me. My friend, my friend. Mm -hmm. Hey. It's good to serve a living God. I am serving a living God. Mm. The Alpha and Omega. Mm. The beginning and the end. The omnipotent, omniscience, omnipresent God. The Alpha and Omega. Mm. The one that says that. No weapon fashion against me, a child of God, shall prosper. Amen. Oh. Hey, my dear. <laughs> Witches and wizards okay. everywhere. Coming after me. Fighting me. Look at me. I don't have strength. I don't have energy. Mm -hmm. But my God, ah, my God that I serve is fighting my battle. Killing them one by one. <laughs> hey, my dear, it's good to serve a living God. Yes, yeah, so. Mm. So tell me, like this, like this now, she's in the police custody. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Are you asking? <laughs> eh? Are you playing with my God? Eh? Hey, my dear, she's in the police custody. Mm -hmm. Cooling off. <laughs> Let me see how she will come out and drag my man with me again. Mm. So, what is your man doing or saying about it? Well, he's not happy about it. In fact, he believes that um, she planned the wedding. It is what it is now. Even me, I believe she planned it. Yes. My own is that. Uh, Though I'm not in good terms with her, but I think maybe luck shined on her. Maybe she has a good spirit. That's why she was, you know, luck. She... So among everybody that was there, she's the only one that has good luck. Mrs. Good Luck. Hmm. Good for her. My dear, luck or no luck, the sweetest thing is that mm -hmm. she is now in police custody. <laughs> And she cannot drag my man again <laughs> with me. Yes, yeah, so even if she comes out, mm -hmm. do you think Leonard is going to have anything to do with her? Men are stupid. They are like he goods. They are unpredictable. True. Ah, but the good thing is that uh, Leonard said he already prepared her sack letter in case she ever comes out. Yeah. Mm. No, he's acting and behaving like a man that he is. Like my that man. Is, yeah. <laughs> my dear, you see this gold. Serve him diligently. Yes, so. Eh? That is how he's taking care of all my enemies. And I'm just holding my peace, sleeping and enjoying myself. Yes, God yes. is good. You know what? Stop drinking this juice. Abby, oh. I'll bring us whiskey. Abby? Whiskey. What are you saying? Please go and get it. Uh -huh. Do you know what it is? I know that. When you're sleeping <laughs> and resting, and God is fighting your battle. It's a fun. <laughs> Bring it fast, bring food, join of course, I am hungry. 
Barista. Yes. What is the problem? They have court injunction to stop your bail till after their investigations. Monique, you can confine in me. Did you do it? Barista, how can you even ask me such? Don't you trust me? Am I not supposed to ask you the question? Well, if you must know, I did not do it. I'm innocent. Don't worry. I will get you out of here as soon as possible. Arista, I can't stay here anymore. I can't stay here anymore. Look at me. It's not been easy. You just have to do whatever you can to get me out of here. Please, wait, Arista. Yes. So you're trying to tell me that if their investigation lingers till next year, they'll keep my sister here? Not at all. As far as I'm still practicing, the law must take its course. Barista, this is not fair. Don't worry. The law, like Ella said, must take its course. I will close mark the policeman. I will do that as a counsel. She's my client. You just be calm. You don't need to panic. There is no concrete evidence that she led the operation. Everything is based on assumption. Monique, has your MD come to see you since after your arrest? Yes, he came. Okay. From his utterances, it's obvious that he was the one that asked the police to arrest me. You see what I told you about that man? Did you see it? Don't worry. Like earlier said, the law was still Good morning, ma. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Uh, ma, there is one man standing outside. Uh, he says his name is um, Mark. God believe. God believe. Uh, yes, ma. What does he want? Um, he said he's looking for Oga. So I told him Oga is not around. He asked if there is anybody inside and can deliver his message to him. I said, okay. That's very good. Go bring him in. time for this. What can I do for you? My name is Mark, a court bully from High Court. So what do you want? I'm looking for Mr. Leonard. Mr. Leonard is my son. But right now, he is not in the house. In that case, I'll drop the message. A suit has been filed against him and is expected to appear on the court by the 15th of this month. The suit has been filed against him? Yes, ma'am. And, uh, and they have to sign here. Why 
Thank you, mother. I have to leave. Monique, are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? Of course she's not. It's not been easy either. Monique, I understand what you're going through right now. But please, you have to be strong. Because the good Lord will not forsake you. He's a merciful God. Amen. What is the way forward? My lawyer said they've refused to grant me bail until after the whole investigation. What kind of rubbish is that? Why would they say that? The order was from the courts, not the police. What other investigation have you pulled not done? My sister is innocent and you know it. I'm sorry, but the law will decide. <sighs> Chelsea, Becky, at this point, all I need from you two is your prayers. I can't do this anymore. I need your prayers. You don't need to ask. We're already doing that. We're praying for you. Monique. Monique, look. Look at me. Monique, I am your sister. And I will do anything possible to get you out of here, I promise. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> Just be strong, please. I beg you, be strong. I am scared. I am so scared. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. Don't be scared. You are strong. You can go through this. Please, just be strong. Chelsea. Yes? Please, tell MD that I'm innocent. You know it, right? Yes. I know. Even if I die, give him my message. No, no, money. Don't, don't say that. You will not die. You just okay. promise me that you will give him my words. Yes, I will, but you will not die. Stop saying that. <laughs> listen, listen. You will not die because you're innocent. So please, can you stop this? Please. I am too so scared. Please, be strong. You have to be strong, please. I hate seeing you like this. Please. Okay. Please. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Monique, has Bella come to see you? <laughs> Bella, she hasn't. And I don't want to see her. If Bella has a hand in this, if she has a hand in this, she will not live to see tomorrow. Amen. And she will be exposed before she dies. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to listen. What about your lawyer? If he is not competent enough, tell us. We can get you a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> hey. 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 Mom, what nonsense have you done? Mom, what, what are you talking about? A message from High Court. Oh, that. Yes, that. Didn't I warn you not to do that? Mom, I told you I was going to do it. I am not having this conversation with you until you go to that court and withdraw this case with immediate effect. I'm sorry, Mom, but I won't do it. If either Yuna brings back that money, or we settle ourselves in court. What is wrong with you? The case gets more interesting. Yes, it's getting more interesting. If 
you know what is good for you, go withdraw that matter. Else, you have the two of us to contend with. Nonsense. You know what is wrong with children of these days? Mom, I repeat myself, I will not do it. Mom, hello? Mom! I will not do it. Show her. Oh, yeah. Look for yourself. I say you should look for yourself. You have to the house. This is serious. Somebody's behind this evil. I was young. I can make a river. Do I offend? Come in. Good day, sir. Good day. You said you want us to talk about something? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, it's about the case. What about the case? Sir, Monique is gradually dying in the cell. She wasn't looking good at all when I saw her. And she asked me to tell you something. Go ahead. She said I should tell you that she's innocent. Is that all? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Tell the police to stop giving her hard treatment. She's a lady. Like I said before, she wasn't looking good when I saw her. Please talk to the police. Well, the... The police are only doing their job. If she doesn't want to be maltreated the way she's been maltreated, let her say the truth. When you go there next time, tell her to just say the truth so the whole thing will die off. But, sir, but that's enough. But... You're done. I feel so sorry for Monique. The poor girl is lavishing in police custody for something she knows nothing about. I feel so sorry for her. 
I feel sorry for her too. But I believe the God of women will not put her to shame. You feel like the God of women? What about the God of men? Jude, I don't want to believe you lack empathy. Please don't start now. Clearing, he wants to back like the dog. That's what he is. Keep backing. Hello? I'm always backing like a dog. You are the one. You are the one backing like a dog. What will you do? I will hit you so hard if you repeat that word again. <laughs> you will hit me. Yes. You, you will hit me. No, hit me. Hit me. Stupid man. And um, may I remind you that the enemy is a lot. Like I can't. Wow. Can, you, can, you, can, you, can you can just stop this whole thing? Stop it. Hey, stop <laughs> What is it? What is your problem? I am so disappointed in you both. Are you guys for real? Please stop this already. Jude. Becky. You are adults. I don't understand what you are doing here. What we need right now is serious prayers for Monique and not this thing that both of you are acting like kids. Come on, grow up. You had her come names. Tell him to behave like a man. She's not Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, ma. Let's sit. Thank you. <sighs> okay, so. <gasps> uh, mom, she is Kaka. The woman after my heart. Kaka. Wow. Mom. <laughs> Greetings again, ma. You're welcome, my child. Thank you. So where are you from? I'm from Enugu State, ma. Okay. That's nice. She's pretty. <laughs> I have eyes for beautiful women. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma. Only this one is a bunch of women. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is funny. 